What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K23 Career Mode Series video. Today, we have a special one, because this is a tournament that Ryan Gamer has never played, the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pine South. So in season one, this tournament and course, they were actually added in a post-launch update after Ryan had already played those tournaments. Uh, so this is the first time Ryan is going to play Torrey Pine South and we're out here against Tony Finau as the rival. It is going to be a battle. What a competitive season this has been so far. We're sitting atop the FedEx Cup standings with 1,335 points, but Colin Morikawa is right there. John Rahm, Lydia Ko, and Joaquin Neiman. So it's going to be awesome, but I'm so pumped to dive into the Farmers Insurance Open for the first time on the channel today at Torrey Pine South. I need you all's one times. I need your hypes. Let's get on out. Get on out there and get this trophy. I want this trophy so bad. I, I don't know why. I just, it's a new tournament this year. I just really want the trophy. Let's do this. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more. Check the full playlist in the description to see if there's other videos to binge watch in the series. And also check out my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that as we're trying to get to a thousand subs early this year. Check it out. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. I'm ready. I am ready. Cheers, everybody. UK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Delighted to have your company as we kick off coverage of this thrilling event. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Yeah, you're going to get fears from Finau every day. Good luck in this rivalry. I think you're going to need it. Here we go. Tony Finau, one of my favorite players in real life. One of Ryan Gamer's favorite players as well. You'll love to see it head-to-head -head with the rival today. Let's get the nervous jitters out and get ready. Always get nervous. I'm telling you, off the first tee, get those nervous jitters out the practice swing, though. That's it. This is full send. Full send, as Henny says. Let's go. That really was full send. Blasted that one. Split the fairway in half. That gives us some confidence moving Henny, forward. What are you seeing down there? Yeah, the breeze ruffling their shirt, hitting their back. It's going to be tough to control the distance here. All right, Henny. It might be tough, but not for Ryan here. 110 yards, downhill five. Sand wedge with an eight mile an hour tailwind. This could be the club. I'm going with it. A little bit of backspin. One time. Use your one times already. Get them out. One time. Good strike. Should find the surface. Good shot. This. Great ball striking there from Ryan. Let's go. Here on the first. Gotta like their chances from there. Gotta focus up, right? The putter has been hot this year for Ryan. The putter has been hot. He's gotta continue it. Whenever he switched to that Scotty Cameron putter, good things happened. Gotta make this. It's a little eight footer, not much to it. Yeah, this is looking nice. Huge booty. Well, that's a nice way to start riding a little Cheers, everybody. Get your coffee, first. whatever you're drinking. You can't birdie Let's go. Unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Exactly. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first. Brandon at the top. Minus four through six. Then Luke. Patton. The second. A short par four. One that the players like to take on these days, Rich. A good birdie look here. Yeah, they good do. birdie look, be but where you laid back on top of the hill and took a wedge nine iron sometimes for your second shot. But a lot of players now are challenging that bunker down the right hand side, getting as far down there as possible and just having a flick with a sand wedge in for their second. OK, Rich, you really got me thinking on this one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's just hit the driver. If Ryan was a powerhouse, he might be able to send it to that green. 
We're not the powerhouse. Just take a little nice slow driver off. Slow. Fast. <laughs> fast and push. They kind of canceled each other out a little bit. Second shot on the second. This is what I was worried about right here. All right. The caddy dock puts the lob wedge in the hand. Hit shot has been proposed and that's really the only option and there is we could flop it gap wedge flop dangerous shot well actually it's less dangerous than the pitch shot partial pitch shots are the hardest i think the hardest shot in this game i think we've got to go gap wedge flop i think i'd rather have laid back on the slope now that i think about it like rich was saying load it that's unfortunate these these short part fours you i've really got to think more on these you know course Didn't management the approach close enough so should have laid back in front of give herself a better range for, for the second shot we put ourselves in our least favorite range we, wait we still have a birdie chance though not a lot of movement here it's 42 feet uphill two feet but just a steady left to right imagine if we make this I like I like it. I think we have a good chance of making this. Remember, our caddy doc told Ryan to trust his instincts. She said the same thing here. Our putting's been on. She doesn't want us to do a lot of caddy corrections at the end or eye test. If we can send it. Get in. Oh, so close. A touch too firm. I think that was the right line. Oh, what a shame. That we hit it a nice bit softer. Yeah, that would have been a nice, nice one to hold. Par. Take the par, though. Nicely hold. Not going to complain. One under through two on a course that I'm not familiar with at all. Ride Gamer's not familiar with. Currently it's never played it. For the tournament. Gary Woodland, four under through 12. Tie at first with four under. Luke List, four under through there five. There are so many stunning okay. golf holes on this entire property. And this third, the par three downhill, certainly one of the elite holes on the course. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. Can be extremely I was about to say that. to play. Downhill all the way. When they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it. Never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center the green all day long. All right, I think Rich, you know, he told a long life story there, but I think he meant aim right at it. Something like that. Looks to be going with the six iron. What? This one's left of the green. Okay, something went off on Always that one. That felt really wind. good. Oh, the wind huh. wreaks havoc with another golf ball. I blame Rich again for, <laughs> for talking so much before the shot, right? Tough lie. 59-69%. Gonna have to be a partial pitch shot. It's a dangerous shot, actually. Perfectly struck, though. That is about the best you can do from there. Gorgeous golf shot. Ryan may miss a lot this. of fairways. The power on the he may miss a lot of greens, but he hits some of the best recovery shots in the business. This looks like it's got the we'll speed take it. and the line. Great yeah, par save. For the par. It's one of those pars that feels like a birdie. Get your coffee, cheers, whatever you're drinking. Currently one under for the event. I need some more coffee. Ryan Gamer and Tony Finau are tied. One under through three. One of the hardest holes on the entire property is the par four fourth ridge. It is a strong demanding hole. Such a right dangerous tee shot too. Very picturesque this fourth hole. Pacific Ocean directly to the golfer's left hand side. That's it. Don't be sucked in the, by the views. However, you'd want no part of that. And you certainly don't want any part of that fairway bunker down the right hand side either. Find the fairway and you've got a good chance at knocking it on this green in two. Be wary though, anything long and left on this green is no good. Okay, there you heard. Rich is basically our caddy now. Is he trying to take Doc's place? Is Rich really trying to take Doc's place here? <laughs> Tough par four. We have 204 yards left. Slide uphill into a slight cross headwind. Gonna hit the hybrid here into this wind and kind of let that let the wind pull it down. The lie is gonna pull, pull the ball to the left as well. Uh, 
bastard it. This one's I think this is where Rich told us not to be. I mean, at least it's in bounds, right? That That's was a, a bit tough of a miss. Well, definitely, the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Yeah, yeah let's blame the play wind. Third. Let's totally blame the wind. Off the pace. Definitely not Ryan. Good lies. 70 to 79%. If we hit the same exact same exact shot that we just hit on the last hole, we're in great shape. Shorted it. Short swing. And here we are with their four. Four strokes okay. off the lead. We can putt this. Steady left to right. These are the ones you have to make, right? We want to stay in this tournament and win this tournament. We've got to hit putts like this. Well, Huge like putt! It. Come on! Ooh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that Touch again. of class there. Luke wants to run it back. Cheers, everybody, for that par save. That was massive. Again, Ryan's a recovery player. He hits a lot of bats. The camera angles are so bad in the replays. <laughs> hey, at least we got to see Ryan's predict Ryan's reaction though, right? <laughs> now fall back after that hole. Tony takes the lead with the birdie there. Tough hole to birdie. Two under through four. We're still one under. There's a real premium on your tee shots here at Torrey Pine South Course. Keeping ball in fairways critical. And that is illustrated also by the par four fifth. Keep it ball and this fairway is critical. From left to right, oh, no. which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left hand side. What about that, Rich? Does that does that qualify? I think That's that qualifies. A shot there. Second shot here on the fifth. Okay, 145, downhill two into a steady upslope. It'd be pretty aggressive against this pin. I like the pitching wedge. The eight iron, we'd have to hit a partial or shot shaping. I think we can overswing the pitching wedge in this wind. Get it pretty close. I felt Looks that. Like they're going with the pitching wedge. Tempo's just this off right now. It think. happens. Especially the approach shots. It's fine on the drives. Maybe I need to Just get the a practice off swings with the out. Accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Wynn got that one and took it wayward. Ryan's most improved shot in the season has been the splash shot. Oh, what Lovely a shot, shot Ryan. That's in tight. Look at look at that smile. Just That's that steady grin on his face. Like, oh, we got this. He's not Trade worried. By four strikes. Everybody's playing good, though. Tony Finau, 200 through 5. Boy, Pine's a tough course. A really tough course. Especially, Rich, I don't have a lot of experience of here this in this half, game. But the par 5 sixth. The players are definitely thinking birdie here, but it's all set up by the tee shot. Yeah, nice got to hit the fairway. Five, just a little bit dogleg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side, and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. All right, we won't hit it in the low area. Rich, don't you worry. We're going for the green. I'm going to overpower this three wood. If we could have hit the drive a bit further, the headwind is going to make this so tough. 261, uphill four. We have a 247 carry on this three wood. It's not going to get there. Maybe with an overpower, though. That could get there. Slight push, so decent fairway to hit this one. Not getting there. Not sure if they'll find it though. Even with the 106, not a bad miss though. Setting up from the first cut here in the green, they could hold it from here. I like the way you think, Luke. We could hold it from here. Get your one times out for Luke, everybody. Drop the one times here. Luke called it. Oh, I thought oh. that one was going in. Luke was close on that prediction. If they can make this, move inside the top 20. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Oh, I was so yeah, nervous. Nice that's that that's huge. That we we take almost take missed that. Under. Cheers for that birdie. 
That was nerve wracking. If you all remember last season, Ryan missed those putts all the that, time. All the time he missed those putts. Gary Wood led 500 through 16. Sanjay Ilm, 500 through 12. The par four seventh, a little dog leg left to right. Again, positioning of the tee is key. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. Don't worry, positioning off the tee is Ryan Gamer's specialty. <laughs> About that. Henny, what does that oh, lie look no. like? Not the best tee shot, but they got lucky with this lie. It is a great lie. 76-84%. But this is going to be interesting. Going with the six iron here. Yeah, I Where knew I, I knew it was close to clip the tree. Pretty good tempo though. Actually, perfect tempo. A bit it's wild cat. approach there. No, they tried to fade that one in there, but got a little steep on it. Got to send it. Slowed it. Got the 105 though. Sitting at two under par. Gonna putt. Let's make a move. You're just on the fringe of the top ten. These are the ones you gotta make, right? We've been putting really well. Play the game the way it's meant to be played, Ryan. Gotta hit it a bit firmer. Putt coming up here. And that puddle drop. What do oh, I always say, everybody? Yeah, Bogeys are gonna happen. Get them and move on. on the leaderboard. Get them and move on. We can't change the past. We can we help shape the, the future. We got this. The here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenges in the green. It's gonna be a battle is, this entire season with the wide, with the difficulty we have it on. going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons, uphill the entire way. Difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on. Oh, top. I'm not afraid, Rich. Opting for the five iron. If it's we hit into, into the, the slope, this is perfect. Just beautiful. But we gotta send it in. He's hit that inside the range. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. We've been putting well. Line. It's everything and else we haven't. Putt to be even with Tony Finau. Ty Finau. Such a tough putt. So much break here on this short one. One time. Drop your one times right now. Hit it too firm. That's frustrating. Ah. It's just about three feet away. I had the line, right? Nicely I had the line. It's all right. Currently one under for the Colin Moore Caldwell five under through nine. He's been on fire. I'm, so, five ninth is I'm scared of John Rahm after a few tournaments ago what he did to least. us. I think the challenging part about it, Lucas, is just straight away. Send you it. have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really is just that simple and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it. But for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. You like how he says, oh, it's simple. You just hit a straight shot off the tee, a straight second shot, and a straight shot onto the green. <laughs> yeah, it's not that simple, Rich. <laughs> it was that easy. Oh, well, actually, let's just do what he said. We're going for the green here, and this win this is perfect. Oh, that looked like a bit of an ugly swing there. A bit of an ugly swing. Thanks, Luke. It really was, though. Oh, I wish that would have stayed in the in the sand. And here we are with the third shot. It's okay. We can ship this one close. Behind our leader. Be the club. Be the club. That's going to play just nice. We got to birdie this. This putt just five feet away from the hole. 
Huge. We just got to stay focused, right? We've been here before. Cheers. Birdie to close out the front. Two under is not bad. Up and down round on a really tough course. Tough conditions with this win, too. This is the transition point of the round. Making the turn. Heading for home. Finau just... This player's performance so far. Finau just double bogeyed. You hate to see it. These two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Hallamore Kawa has a lot of golf left to play. And he's scoring well. well. He didn't get that one cleanly. That one's hooking. Yeah, it's in the sand. Another day at the beach. You know, it's a good day for it. You don't go to Torrey Pines without visiting Here the beach. Here we are in the fairway bunker. Can they execute a good shot? 73 to 80% lie. We have a 155. I'm going to the 6-iron. Sending this. We can get this. What a practice swing. Tippo feels off on approach. There it is. Do that same thing, Ryan. It's simple. Only it was, right? Heading towards the nasty stuff. Yeah, it's in the from sand to rough. This is the Ryan this Gamer way. Up and down. Twenty-seven. I'm gonna do full loft to backspin out of this rough. I knew it'd get a good bounce. I thought it would get a little bit more, but I slowed it. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. Nice little uh, yeah, putt here. Yeah, there's not much to this at all. Not much to this at all. Just a little right to left. Not going to break much, though. What a putt started this. Got perfectly. aggressive. Oh, I love a player with big heart. You showed plenty there. Bunker plenty of heart there. That's right, Luke. To find the green, but saves the par with that putt. Trailing by a few shots. Okay, we're only three strokes back. Everybody's struggling here as well. It's not just Ryan Gamer. I mean, Finau, the AI has played insane there this year so far. There are holes here at Torrey Pines South, but the course tough certainly course. gets tougher as we head to the par 3 11th. This green from the back Tell us what to do, Rich. looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf top left. If you get it up there... Happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. All right, Rich, that didn't really help me prepare for the hole besides to scare me a little bit. Let's just hit the ball. Going with the high fast. Hit. What is happening? Uh, it's just a tad off line, that one. Headed towards the left. When you lose tempo within a round, it's hard to find yeah, it. Approach didn't seem to fit there. I'm sure right. all of you all have experienced that, that as that well. Offline in a hurry. Although Ryan's been so much better overall this year, his, his approach tempo has, has been up and down. Sent that one, overpowered it. That's one where you might want to pull out the partial pitch or the flop shot, but I'm not confident enough in my tempo on those shots. Oh, no. All right. Let's let the caddy... <laughs> hey, Doc, you got this one? Doc still t tells Ryan to trust his instinct. Putting's been there, so trust the tr trust yourself, Ryan. Everybody's so quiet. Hands are quiet. Birds are quiet. One time. Crushed it. Just didn't drop. Oh, good chance this one. Right on six feet. That's unfortunate. Well, Tough that's bogey. To bogey. It's okay. We can still win this. We're right in this. We have two par fives left. Or if we get five more birdies, we could win. Five more birdies Currently is it. One under for the round. Moving down. Andrew the at the top. Luke never Sanjay Elm, and they're almost finished. Andrew is done. Sanjay Elm has one hole left. Luke List. Head to the 12th hole. This what a, what a four tough is course. As and as strong this and is as mean. tough as you find anywhere on the PGA Tour. This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing That's right. Wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there. You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. You know, Rich, 
Yeah, you scared us a little bit. Yeah, it's tough golf hole and all that, but we have a hybrid in our hand from the sand. This is Ryan Gamer's shot right here. He was born for this shot. Slight slow. It should still be fine, though. That'll play. Need to send this in. Focus, let's focus up, everybody. Got this. Well, it's a chance still to get up and down if they can hold a monster. A chance can, to move to a couple under the car. We can hold a monster. 36 feet uphill, one foot. One time. Starting to look really good. So close. We've been so that close. Does that does it's sting a bit. Pop out here. Let's see if we can make it. They're oh, just not dropping today. Right Our approach shots. Ryan's got to hit the range before the next tournament. You know, you know, Doc's gonna have him out in the range for about a hundred shots after this tournament. Advantage. Colin Morikawa, six under through 13, takes the lead. Who's He's been on fire this year. We're in 34th place. First right, showing Mitch. at Torrey Pines has been tough. 13, so much has been said about it. I'm interested in your thoughts. This is one of the most interesting par fives. Got to do a practice swing. I'm not, I'm not in the zone right now. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area go. where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Second shot here on the third. Oh, yeah, hole. I know this golf hole. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> this one's so tough. Honestly, this course might go up there as Ryan Gamer's nemesis, just like East Lake. East Lake is Ryan Gamer's main nemesis. Oh, this one is treating Playing us about like East here. Lake. Let's see if they've got the right club. Okay, sand wedge in hand. Caddy's looking at the pitch shot. You know, Doc. I like what you're thinking, but I think we got to go up a club. In this uphill lie. Fasted it. All you can do is that was the club because that was never going down the fairway. Well, a little off the target with that one. Sitting at one under the car. <laughs> okay, Luke, I see Luke and Rich are starting to get violent a little bit. We can chip this in. Need to. One time right here, like you never one time before YouTube. Come on. Ooh, that almost went down. And a par putter awaits him. Tough tournament, right? Some these are gonna happen more this year than last year with the difficulty. The AI difficulty, like last year you saw us kind of coasting through on a lot of the tournaments. This is not going to be the case this year. This is going to be a battle all the way to the end, which is what yeah, everybody wants to see. It's what you all wanted in Season 1, and we got it at the end of Season 1, and this is going to be a battle this entire season. Let's begin the 14th. Tony Finau right there, one back. There we go. Do that every time, Ryan. Simple game, right? Just hit it perfect every single time. Life would be so much easier in this video game. Beautiful. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Gonna come off to the left, gonna be downhill. Come on, Ryan. Chosen the pitching wage here. Looking good. Looking really good. Come on. We've got this. That was special. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. A birdie putt awaits. R Rich, why did you have to say you pretty much guarantee this one? You don't say that. And yeah, we have been putting well. Let's go. Rich was right. Cheers, everybody. And that will take him to two under. Keep battling. 
Four holes left. Eagle chance. It's all right. Collins up there. He's going to win, right? Eight under through 15. That's not what we're looking at. We're trying to move into the top five to it's still right be on the top the in the FedEx Cup. We talk about strong power fours. This is another one. As Tied big for as 23rd. 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this. Yeah, golf this course, course is not insane. Hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Gonna go Taking three hybrid. About 220 yards out. This is Ryan's favorite club in the bag, everybody. This is it. Come off slightly to the left as well. Load it. Looks Felt to be that one and here. pushed it. Well, you're going to need to think of your second shot already because that one's beached. That's what's killed Ryan in this tournament, right? If Ryan, Ryan's Ryan been good off the tee. The on that shot. He's been good at putting. The green side bunker. His approach shots have here. not been good. The splash, put it close. Be ready. Ooh. Good thing we put a lot of spin on that one. Overswung. Okay, so that's step one, but now I've got to hold a mid-range putt. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Touch of a feather, Henny says. Yeah, this is a really challenging par putt. Like the look of this one. What putting's been on? Now two under. All down that down the work stretch. in the offseason has paid off. If we can hit our approach shots better here towards the our end, we can come back into the top 10. At this stage. 24th place. We're four back from third. Four back. Come on, 16th, Ryan. 16th, the last of the par threes on this golf course, but it's not an easy one. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size but it plays awfully small because there's Let me show you really how to play small it, Rich. sections to this green the front the back right and the top left if you find the right section job well done if you don't it's going to be a difficult two putt to say the least beautiful told you rich that's how you play it's just get a perfect shot okay that'll work this is huge feet to the cup it's got to continue. Do what we've been doing on the putter. Doc has told us to trust ourselves. The caddy knows that Ryan needs to trust himself with the putter. Hey, nice looking line. Mark Let's down. go. Number five. And with that, we'll Cheers, everybody. Huge five. birdie. We need to get as many FedEx Cup points as we can. Colin Morikawa is going to get the win. Look at him. Sight. 10 Colin under. Leads. Beating Finau by two. They're, these pros this season are playing the insane. Hole Torrey Pines South is not a long par four, but the danger lurks everywhere. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. A dangerous golf from hole. From there, the green Tied for tilts 18th. from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. Okay, here we go. Six iron in hands. Headwind, uphill lie. I like it. Opting for the six iron. Light slow is not terrible. All right, he's going with a little extra club. Got Great club. the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. Henny, don't call it off when we go against the caddy. <laughs> trying to create, Henny's trying to create caddy drama here. Handy effort, that one. Good opportunity coming up. Make this putt, and you'll move into the top I mean, 10 on the leaderboard. Doc, Ryan's caddy, Doc. She she has the biggest salary right now out of any caddy. You think she's worried about any of it? No. <laughs> Got to make this. One time like you've never won time before, everybody. Looking 
one time who just one time that if you one time that one drop a comment with the one time below let me know you were here for this let's go he's currently tied for cheers tied for eight that was how clutch that putt was top 10 we're in tied for eight in the finishing hole here at Torrey Pines South, one of the more famous on the PGA Tour, site of so many of Tiger's wonderful victories. Beauty. Par five, you can get there in two. You can, but you have to thread your drive in between those four fairway bunkers that line the fairway. From there, now you have to think, do I want to take on this flag with the bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front. It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it nope, on, not then brave. you could reap massive rewards. Not brave with our approach, Tempo. Are you serious? I'm, the worst thing is when you lay it up and then miss the layup. That's all right. Another day in the rough. Oh, this but, is uh, this, not a good outcome. This season Here has been a blast. Stuff. I think this is... I don't know about you all, but this season I like it so much better. Like, we're battling... We have to really fight to get into even the top 25. And when we win, it's even extra special. I think we have that perfect difficulty. I think, you know, it's we blew out the competition a lot in season one, right? We <laughs> Ryan uh, broke records for wins. You know, he holds a lot of records, but I think this is more fun. I really do. Do the AI play a little bit Going too good at times? Here. Yes. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. Get in! What a shot! That was a great shot at the right time. Come yes. on! Gotta think that's a certain birdie from this there. This could be top five. This birdie could take us into the top five. That's how and you finish. That you never give up. To a close. You're always trying to climb well, the Henry, standings. That's a fine performance. In fact, one for the ages. Cheers. Very few people come up against the likes of a Tony Finau and cut them down to size. Luke, I just cannot believe that we saw that. This player has every reason to be happy with that performance. They set a goal, they challenged Tony Finau, and they beat him. It was textbook. It was so entertaining for me to be able to follow these two going back and forth throughout the event. Thank you, Henny. Glad you had a good time. What a battle. Colin Morikawa takes the win with 10 under. Troy in second, Justin Rose, Luke List, Tyler, and then Ryan Gamer does not get top five, but does get top six. Tied for six with Sunjay Elm at five under. That was a great finish. We battled, we fought, we never gave up to move into the top six. That is massive. That's going to give us confidence moving forward into the next tournament. Yeah, we didn't get the Farmer's Insurance Open trophy that we wanted. No trophy added to the cabinet, but that's okay. It was a battle. We fought. Top 10, we have Andrew, uh, who was leading the tournament there for a while. Then Gary Woodland and Jordan Spieth battling it out. I love this game. I, I love this career mode. It's just a blast to play. And we crushed Finau. Finau struggled. No Eagles. Four birdies. One bogey. One double plus. Ryan had seven birdies and two bogeys. What a round of golf. 16 points to four on the rivalry. I I wanted to win that one. I did. And you all know that. But five strokes off with a good comeback there at the end. Got some FedEx Cup points. But with Colin Morikawa winning, I believe that's going to put Colin Morikawa into the top spot. As we take a look at this. I'm about 90% sure that Colin Morikawa, yep. Colin Morikawa takes the, takes the lead. What a battle. Let's see what, how many points Colin has. So 1,653, Ryan with 1,427, and then John Rom, who had that eagle hole out a few tournaments ago. <laughs> Just insane. Lydia Ko and then Joachim Neiman. So we have a new rival tier. Lexi Thompson, Justin Thomas, and Xander Shoffley. We are heading into the Waste Management Phoenix Open at TPC Scottsdale. One of my favorite tournaments. We are going to get an ace at the Stadium Par 3. We can do it. It's one of my favorite tournaments. You will see that in the next video. It's going to be a blast. But thank you for watching this to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. And subscribe for more. Check the playlist down in the description to see if there's more videos live in the series. In the meantime, while you're waiting for another one, you can also check out Ryan Gamer's other career mode series on the channel. He's playing NBA 2K23, MLB The Show 22, plenty other ones you can go back and watch Ryan play, such as NHL, F1, FIFA. He's done it all with more to come. But as always, have a fantastic day, everybody.